What's up everybody? Nick here from Taco Jeep Adventures about to head out to Flagstaff. Uh, as you guys may know the Overland Expo is going on this weekend from the 20th through the 22nd. Uh, I'm going to get out there probably around 5 p.m. and get set up and uh, definitely get some footage throughout the weekend. So if you guys, uh, well by the time I post this it will be after the fact but hopefully I'll get to meet some of you out there and uh, capture a lot of good footage and post this afterwards but here is the taco so she'll be uh she'll be out there in the diamondback booth so for those who may or may not know diamondback makes some pretty awesome um covers here so she will be on display for the weekend there um yeah there's the rig guys got it all set up all packed up going solo on this trip as many of you may or may not know if you don't make it this year and have not before thoroughly suggest that this will be my second year out there um, it's a great show we are getting close guys we are roughly I don't know if you can see that 20 minutes or so <clears throat> from the expo at Fort Tuttle there I uh, unfortunately could not get the GoPro out quick enough there was a bunch of elk and deer on the, the side of the highway back there about a mile back pretty awesome yeah, Flagstaff in general is just absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous country. But anyways, we are almost there. I'm not going to stay on this too long. I'm holding it. I don't have it mounted um, and obviously driving. So uh, we'll be there shortly. I'm going to get set up, get in, um, and be capturing some footage throughout the trip, the weekend. Um, so we'll be back in touch. We'll uh, show you guys um, what the expo is all about, the vendors that are coming out get a good taste of that um, obviously we'll capture some footage of the vehicles in the Diamondback booth uh, should be pretty cool so looking forward to it just pulling in guys it is uh, quite filled already as you can see lots of rigs already here this place is huge guys thousands and thousands already here it doesn't even start till tomorrow my guy here has guided me to the uh, Diamondback Covers booth where we'll be uh, situated for the expo. So almost there. What's up guys? Check it out. We're all set up here in the booth. So you can see we're kind of in the corner here. The Diamondback booth. Uh, yeah, I didn't do much filming day one. It was pretty damn windy. Um, I mean literally... <laughs> I think they, they were saying there's 50 mile gusts. It was, uh, everyone's stuff was blowing everywhere. There was sand everywhere yesterday. So glad that it's calmed down so we can get a little footage as promised to the expo. I'll be walking around, kind of showing some of the vendors. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a huge, huge place out here. Um, I've done some walking and, and bicycling out here thus far, and um, there's still a lot to be seen yet. But anyways, here it is, here's the booth with Diamondback. As you guys may know, uh, Mike from LOD's out here. He's been popping back and forth, but here's the uh, infamous Tundra everyone's been talking about. And their new cover here, you can see this is the, uh, the kind of textured, more smooth top. I'll show you guys mine here in a moment. The uh, kind of original diamond plate is what I'm running. But anyways, this is their new Yakima system they've been talking about. Um, this is the shorter height. There's also the the taller one that kind of goes up over the cab um, So depending on folks needs here's the taller ones which you can see are adjustable for height If you're carrying lumber or a larger tent um, Probably want to go with something like that, but yeah real quick. Just do a little walk around you guys can see it's Coming along already This new bumper winch system he's running Looks like a worn winch, the Evo. He's got the KC highlights here. That's where his taco is currently in that booth. And then here's my taco. For those who may be new to watching this, um, yeah, kind of do a quick little walk around. Charging up the battery. Just been running the fridge here. Yeah, so let's walk around this side real quick. Here is the setup. So I'll probably be camping on site tonight. Did the first night, it was a little windy yesterday. 
So we went back and uh, went to the Airbnb, but nonetheless, this is why we're here, guys. Huge shout out to Diamondback. Um, been running this product a long time. So for the record, had this way before I knew any of these guys. Um, and this is an easy product to sell. And I don't, I don't have anything to sell, but this is uh, definitely one of the products on the truck that I believe in. And um, it's awesome to have the opportunity to be out here and, and have gotten to know these guys. So. Holy moly, what a day. Kind of tired. Not gonna lie, I did not get the footage uh, in the area that I wanted to get today. It should be a little more chill tomorrow, but we were slammed. Um, it was busy. Busy. We had a lot of traffic in the booth here today. Uh, you can see it's starting to wind down, folks. As far as a vendor presence standpoint um, at the booth, everyone's kind of starting to head towards the music and the food and um, in, in typical Overland Expo fashion. This evening will probably be a lot of uh, parties within the vendor booths and a lot of sharing and getting to know one another and that kind of deal. So we're, we're kind of planning to uh, do that here in the bit, but hopefully tomorrow it'll be a little more chill. Um, the expo will run till 3 p.m. and folks will start to exit. So uh, I'll try to run the bike around and give a little more visual for the the expo. It's absolutely huge. We'll be hanging out. We're actually going to be smoking um, some sausages and brats and, and that kind of stuff and invite folks over tonight and whatnot. So, anyways, long day. If you haven't been out to one of these, you have to go. It's awesome. Um, caution your wallet will will take a hit i was about to kind of start getting prepared for the food that i'd mentioned in the last clip uh, real quick it's quiet it's probably a good time it's been so busy so here's the truck I haven't really gone over it much on the channel i plan on doing a full build i know i've said that before um but it, you know other than kind of wheeling no real close-up slow footage of the truck so here she is this is uh literally how I use it when we're going out on our trips so it's kind of cool to to have it here on display with Diamondback thanks to those guys huge shout out it was windy yesterday so we escaped we got the heck out of Dodge and uh, avoided camping out here there was literally 50 mile an hour winds probably even more I don't know it was, it was intense but I'll probably uh, be camping up here tonight I'm set up I did camp night one it's a little dark hopefully you can see there's my little humble abode a uh, little 20 degree bag and it's a little Amazon air mattress added to the, uh, the you know, the, the regular mattress that comes with the tent and uh, pillow. Yeah. So probably be in here tonight. Nice and cozy. Got my uh, heating blanket, if needed, with the uh, Jackery set up. Be running that. Uh, truck is a mess. I literally brought everything so I'd be fully prepared. But you can see we're still doing pretty good here. Um, yeah. This is my my very messy truck. One of these days I'll um, better organize and go through it more thoroughly. But yeah, anyways, there's the truck. It's been a fun day. Met a lot of folks, so for those of you who came over and talked to me, thank you for that. It was really awesome meeting a lot of you guys and exchanging channels and uh, Instagram tags and whatnot. So really, really cool. A lot of you guys were really great to talk to. And it, was, it was fun to kind of bounce ideas and and give my take on some of the stuff i have and then pick your brain on some of the stuff you guys have so that was a lot of fun really appreciate that uh yeah so there's the truck nice meeting you guys and uh yeah i'll try again like i said i'll i'll, I'll run through tomorrow and get some more footage of the expo and recap this bad boy what's up guys final day here i wanted to show you something i didn't know if this was going to work or not but kind of cool that it did um so Here's the little Traeger we're running off of the Jackery 1000. Um, getting up to heat, it was definitely getting up there in output. It's kind of been going up and down anywhere from where you see it sitting here around the 20 mark all the way up to, I think I've seen as high as like 171-ish. Uh, got the 100 watt panel sitting here. Um, doing a pretty decent amount. Sun's not quite direct overhead, um, but hanging around 70 watts input. So it's kind of maintaining for the most part while we're while we're out here about to start cooking um yeah pretty impressed with that so fyi jackery 1000 can power these little triggers which i was not expecting um just wanted to share that but anyways final day of the show 
It's a little quieter today as to be expected. Uh, vendors will probably start rolling out in about 3 o'clock, so... Yeah, we're going to start making some food, and then I'll probably, as promised earlier, uh, rip around on this real quick and do a little time lapse or show you guys some of the uh, some of the booths out here. There's a lot. There's a lot, a lot. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So here's a little view, guys. It's kind of like the central hub. It's huge. Um, I mean, there's there's no way. I've been stuck in the booth most of the time. There's no way I'm going to be able to cover it all. But wanted to give a visual for what uh, it's like here in the flag Overland Expo. So you can see it's endless, 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 endless. I haven't even scratched the surface. But lots of cool stuff here. I'm actually uh, popping over to see the uh, up top Overland folks. Learned last year walking is not fun, so brought the bike. This year, yeah, we're gonna go see Up Top Overland and check out their cool products. Uh, so you guys know, I've got the Diamond back, and uh, they make a product that that marries quite wonderfully with it. So we're gonna go have a chat. Um, nonetheless, yeah, check it out. And for those who have not been here. Um, Virtually every vendor in existence is here. Lots of the uh, common YouTube channels where we all see there's Marco, the chef, you guys probably are aware of. Lots of uh, big YouTube accounts out here, so it's pretty cool if you follow anyone in particular that you've learned a lot from. They're, they're more than likely here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go check this uh, booth out. Catch you guys in a bit. Officially at a wrap. I am uh, headed out. Uh, actually, everyone is. The, the interstate's going to be full of some uh, pretty cool vehicles here. There's there's plenty in front, plenty behind. About to hop on. You can see virtually everywhere is just uh, awesome show. Weather was kind of eh at first. It was very 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 windy, um, which which made it challenging for the vendors. Uh, there was stuff flying everywhere, made it challenging for the families trying to walk around with their dogs and kids and dust everywhere, things blowing everywhere, a couple vehicles got damaged near us, it was pretty bad. Um, next day, really, really nice, the weather's been pretty gorgeous since then for the most part. Um, but yeah, I got to meet a lot of cool folks, it was really cool to see, uh, well, similar to last year, I mean, virtually any part you've got on your vehicle, it's a good chance, a good high probability that vendor is present at this show so it's really cool to kind of get to talk to them in, in person you know you see their products online you see their instagrams or what have you and, and, and it's cool to see all that but to meet the people behind it in person and chat with them and get to know them it's a lot of fun it was really really cool and it, it's always enjoyable um, so nonetheless got to do a lot of that so some pretty exciting things I think might come as a result of that so I'm pretty pretty excited about that we'll be working on some things here uh, after this trip so we'll see what's in store for the taco I think uh, some changes are, are forthcoming that I'm really excited about um, and, and we'll keep a smile on the face for uh, some time to come so that's pretty much a wrap guys I would like to get a little bit more footage of the uh, the actual expo like I'll, I'll throw in a little bit of the time lapse and, and this or that but honestly we were so busy in the booth at Diamondback um, and it was just busy it was really really busy it was a, it was a team effort and so anyways that's it shout out to Diamondback they're the ones who uh, got me out here they're the reason why I went to the expo again shout out to to Luke Mark Andy really appreciate everything you guys did um, it was a lot of fun it was a hustle uh, lots of good jokes good times and uh, re really appreciate you guys I just I, I genuinely just had fun it, it, it was it was work but it wasn't um, so look forward to the next time guys um, but anyways that's a wrap I am gonna focus on driving and try and beeline to the house and, and see my girls and uh, hopefully get there to be able to tuck the little one in bed and, and wind down for myself and, and be back on the grind tomorrow so uh, you guys take care if you if you've watched uh, any of our videos or just tuning in I'm gonna I'm gonna I mean we're, 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 we're newly kind of kicking off as you can see if you scroll through the channel but planning on doing more content uh, 
especially now, you know, this, this trip really fired me up more, it does every time, and uh, we'll be on the trails probably leading a ride soon, and then, uh, yeah, continue.